What's up guys, this is Anirut and I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, I just wanted to share one of the stories that I had about cryptocurrency and how my friends and I collectively lost 1 million or a little over 1 million USD while messing with cryptocurrency. So I just wanted to give you um, a quick you know, story about what happened and the reason I'm doing this story is because I saw uh, recently on Twitter there are a lot of people that are selling Binance accounts and like uh, Bittrex accounts and stuff. So this actually reminded me of a time wh where like my friends and I kind of similarly did the same thing with crypto and at the end we kind of lost out big. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys to not sell your uh, crypto accounts or crypto to other people via PayPal, eBay, or just you know transactions. And there's a good reason for that. So the reason I say that, uh, I started to get into crypto in 2011. So one of my friends, uh, we were in, in class, so we were still in undergrad at this time. This was my sophomore year in undergrad. And in class, he was like, hey, you know, did you hear about Bitcoin? And I was like, you know, what is Bitcoin? And he started to explain, you know, this is, decentralized currency where you know you could transfer money instantly you know so on so I was like oh I, and I was getting interested in it so I was like hey let me go after class I was like let me go ahead and research what Bitcoin is so at that time Bitcoin is very cheap I say ten dollars eleven dollars and I actually didn't get into it at that time because I was like hey you know this could be a scam because at that time you couldn't really purchase Bitcoin like on an exchange so you link your bank account like say coinbase you can't link it or buy it with a credit card. At that time, it was kind of you know more of a sketchy uh, type of way to buy Bitcoin. So at that time, he's like, you know, this is what it is. And then there's another coin called Ripple, and Ripple came out in around end of 2011 into 2012. So Ripple was so cheap, point zero 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 something, and we were like, hey, this is so cheap. How do we buy it? Again, it was sketchy, and there was this uh, website called I believe it was Bitstamp. And Bitstamp offered uh, ripples directly sent to your account. So what we do is there's this like guy from Poland or something that would contact us, and he said, "Hey, transfer or wire money to my account, and once I get the account, or like the money to his account, then he in turn sends ripples to our account, which was so sketchy. And we were just like, all right, we have nothing to lose. Might as well try it. So we th we put $100 into it in the beginning and it worked out. It went in probably a day or two, we got uh, ripples. So we were like, hey, you know, this is not a bad idea. So we, we you know, put a couple more hundred dollars in there. And at that time, $200, $300 will get you a lot, you know, a couple hundred thousand ripples. So uh, we were just doing that. And then at that time, there was a program with IBM called World Community Grid. So World Community Grid is like a it's like a website where you donate your computer time and it does calculations for curing like cancer and diseases and stuff like that and in turn for your help uh, you know let, lending your computer power to their I think it was like a genome project or DNA folding project they would pay you in ripples at that time IBM was working with ripples so they would pay you in ripples so we were like you know what we'll just you know, during the day we do our classwork at nighttime we'll just put our laptops to work so we put our laptops to work and then you know we were getting you know pretty good amount of XRP so at that time we were like hey why don't we invest in another computer that's faster and at this time Bitcoin was maybe a hundred dollars and it was growing so we were thinking hey why don't we by a miner, so uh, a Bitcoin miner. So we were like, why, why would we pay? Because it was Ant Miner um, that was selling them for like $3,000. So we were like, why would we buy a $3,000 Ant Miner where we could just build a computer and mine Ripple? So we decided to do that. And that's another loss that we took because at that time, if we would have bought Ant Miner and kept mining till now, who knows how many Bitcoin we would have got. But that's, that's another story. So this is like, we lost a million dollars physically. Like we had all that Ripple in our hand and we lost it. So uh, back to the story. We, we started mining Ripple and this was, you know, this was a good operation. We were, we were getting a lot of Ripples from IBM and, and we were putting, a, you know, $100, $200 in there and we were getting hundreds of thousands of Ripples. And at that time, a lot of people were in the same boat, you know, sketched out, we can't buy it on this website. Uh, everyone was like, hey, can, can we buy some? Can we buy some? So uh, we got this idea. It was 
at that time, it seemed like a genius idea. But now I just look back on it, it was one of the dumbest ideas we ever had. So we turned to eBay. So I had an eBay account at that time, and I was selling, you know, stuff that I didn't need or, or like a phone. If I would upgrade, I would sell it. So at that time, we went on eBay, and there was like two or three people that were selling Ripples, and we were like, that's crazy because they were like over hyping it. So if it was like point zero. Uh, 0.0001 or 0.001, they were selling them at like 70 cents, 60 cents, 50 cents per ripple. So we were like, this is incredible. Like we were gonna, we're gonna make so much money. So we started listing you know, as like a, like a test version, you know, 500 ripples. It would be gone in like 30 seconds. We would list a thousand ripples. It'll be gone in like 30 seconds. We did like 30 transactions of like 500,000, thousand, thousand. And they were selling out like crazy. They, we wouldn't even have time. We would click list and it would be gone. We would click list and it would be gone. And we got to a point where we were selling, you know, 15, 20,000 ripples at one time for a good markup. And we, we decided, you know, hey, let's invest because we were making so much money. We were, we were taking that money and reinvesting it and buying more Ripple. And we, we had like a couple hundred thousand, uh, 250,000. I had, a, I had around 250,000 Ripples and he, my friend had around 200,000 Ripples. And my roommate at the time wanted to get into it as well. So he started mining on his computer. And so at that time we were selling like 100,000 ripples, 50,000 ripples, and in one night I personally sold 250,000 ripples in one night. And my friend did the same. He sold around 100, 150,000 maybe, 200,000 ripples. And he woke up in the morning and he said, hey, everyone on PayPal just put a refund on all those ripples because it was like $2,000, $3,000. And what they did was uh, they kind of outsmarted us at that time. So on PayPal, you could not buy or sell digital currencies. And unless it had a physical tracking number where they can track it, you just have to click, uh, you know, I didn't receive it and PayPal would send the money back. And as you can tell, cryptocurrency, you can't really claim it and, you know, take it back. So in the morning, he got hit with like 10 claims and PayPal, took all of his money and basically held it and they said can you prove a tracking number and we were like this is digital currency they said sorry we can't help you because digital currencies are not supported on PayPal so he lost all of this 150 200,000 ripples and I, yet no one claimed it on mine yet and I was like oh man I'm, I'm in trouble literally three hours later mine hit and, and it was the same two people that were buying all the ripples up. So what they did was they did a test run. They were buying, you know, 500 ripples, 1,000 ripples, 2,500 ripples with different accounts, and they were giving positive feedback. So we were like, oh, this is great. We you know we'll sell them more. And th after that time, they bought all of these, uh, almost half a million ripples, and they claimed them, and they said they didn't receive it. And PayPal basically gave all their money back. They get they got to keep all the ripples, 500,000 ripples, which at peak was worth over 1.5 million dollars. At this time, it's worth a million dollars, and we basically lost all of that. So they they took the money, they took the ripples, and what we thought was a genius idea turned out to be a huge huge flop. And we just basically and, and we were also selling Doge coins. Doge was pretty big back in the day too. It was like uh, we don't know why. So we were buying Doge coins. We were selling Doge coins too. And you know, no one claimed uh, Doge coins because we we didn't buy too many of those. And uh, <laughs> we sold like a little bit, but Ripple was the main one we were just selling. And we lost Doge coins. We lost Ripple. And we just we just completely lost interest in just doing that. So I sold my computer that I bought to mine this stuff with, and I was like, I'm done with cryptocurrency. And after that, uh, you know, maybe six months later, I was like, you know, what, I'll just you know go back into crypto. And then that's when I learned from my mistakes, and and that's when I you know started investing again and slowly gaining or getting more capital and getting more coins. So that's basically my story on how my roommate. And my friend and I lost one million ripples. Actually, my roommate, he mined all of those coins on his computer and he misplaced that hard drive. So right now he has like 40 or 50,000 ripples on a hard drive somewhere and he does not know where that hard drive is. So it's, we lost a lot collectively. It was, it was a dumb move back in the day, but 
we were, we were a freshman and sophomore in college and we were just like, oh, this is great. We're going to make so much money. So that's how basically we lost all that money. And I, right when I went on Twitter recently, I've been seeing all these people selling accounts, selling coins, you know, PayPal me this or bit, give me a Bitcoin. I'll give you my account. And it reminded me, you know, it, you, you could think that this is like a great idea to do it, but somehow, some way, people will find a loophole and you will lose all that money. So I just wanted to put this out there saying, you know, it's not worth it to kind of side hustle with, with these accounts or with these coins. Just buy it from the exchange. Now it's so much easier that you guys could do that. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Uh, and I know it sucks. We lost so much money and today, you know, it could have been over a million dollars, but we learned. And for a lot of people that say, um, hey, you know, this guy just got into uh, crypto and started making videos. I've been, into, I've been in crypto since 2011. I made my share of mistakes. I learned from them. So that's basically my story. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you guys did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you at the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.